what's the impact you expect, um, if not for Facebook, for the value writ large and the way leadership moves from here? Well, John, uh, thank you very much, Carl. Julia, pleasure to be with you today. A lot of interesting topics. In terms of the overall issue, it's about is tech for good or are the concerns that some people have about tech uh, being borne out? I believe firmly tech has to be for good and that every major company has to focus on its economic return for its shareholders, customers, and employees, but owes an obligation to society. John, you and I have discussed it before. During the 90s, 2000, tech was for good. Uh, relationships, Democrats, Republicans, the European, the people in Asia, all very much aligned in terms of the goals. And when there was legitimate issues, we resolved them. I strongly encourage the large tech companies to step up and do the same thing. We had this discussion about two years ago when Congress began to get active. And the Democrats and Republicans said, if you don't change, regulation and antitrust is coming. So I think it's very important that tech companies, especially the large players, adjust. Uh, as an example, you just saw with U.S. and India when Prime Minister Modi came to the U.S., his comments to President Biden was, your businesses were there for us during COVID and your technology companies were there for us during COVID in ways that were just amazing. And so I think it's time for tech to get back for good and hold ourselves accountable as we've done in the past. If we don't, regulation is coming and uh, more challenging times ahead. Yeah, big challenge. Uh, you know, a, a smaller but also present challenge, the markets right now and understanding how to navigate them. Uh, supply chains are challenged. We are in Q4. Uh, what's an investor to do? Well, I, I always look at the big picture, John. We've talked about it before. Uh, my parents were doctors. I never get confused with the symptoms versus the underlying issues. Uh, you look, tech is going to have a great run over this next decade. Uh, one of the reasons I, I like the startups is I have to bet three and five years out, and I'm kind of locked into that. And that way you don't have to worry about the ups and downs in a given period of time. Uh, if you were to look at the NASDAQ uh, uh, a year from now, uh, and I think the Dow as well, the high probability they're going to be up and up comfortably based on what I know. Uh, all my startups that are private, and I get to see that data all the time, they're all actually increasing in terms of the orders. Is supply chain an issue? Absolutely. But we'll navigate through that. The availability of money, I've never seen it like this before. And you look at the private equity funds, just as an example, with $500 billion on the sidelines, the top 25 PE firms. So I think we'll navigate through it. Uh, I'm not as good on the next week or the next couple of weeks, uh, but I'm, I'm a, clearly a bull on this, and I'm a complete bull on the number of unicorns in the U.S. and those that will be going public uh, where you guys cover them over the next year or two.